Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 55A, the question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tool series. Make sure you watch 55B, the answers when available. I have five tools for you to identify today. Now, there's four on the bench, and there's one on the computer. It's strictly pictures, so... Let's have a gander at them individually. Now there may be some on here that you have seen before in my other videos and uh, you will know what the answer is to, to those. But let's go on with it and uh, some easy and some hard. Thank you to Mr. Bruce Hitchcock who sent this item to me and he does not need it back. But what is it? It's a number two more taper here, obviously to go into a drill or lathe spindle. And it looks like it's got some rollers in here. Some of you will know what this is, and there is some information on the side here. I'm not going to show it to you right now. You'll see it in the follow-up video. But what is this? I've never seen one before. It snaps. As Bruce said, it's pretty well beat up and it's been around a while. Thanks, Bruce. Item number two was loaned to me by my good friend Bob Kirkpatrick, one of the owners of a Luma tank up in Harvard, Illinois. Now, this will be shown in another video dedicated strictly to this on how to use it. But I had never seen one until Bob showed it to me. There's a federal indicator on here, dial indicator. I covered up the trade name right here, which would reveal what it's called. Maybe that wouldn't help you any. Very intricately made. Looks like a pair of, or not a pair, looks like part of a handcuff, doesn't it? So we've got a lever here. It, there's a patent number. I could not find anything. I looked looked that up, but since patent is pending, it doesn't appear on the site yet because I guess the patent hasn't been approved. And right here there is uh, the indicator probe or tip. Notice that this is a diameter reading dial indicator to two ten thousandths special ratio. That may give you a little hint, although I doubt it. Chrome plated. It's very nicely done. What is it? That's number two. Don Bickmore from the great state of Maine sent me these two items. And uh, thank you, Don. And he said, throw them away when you're done. They came in, the, in a pile of rubble that he bought at a sale or garage sale. I'm not sure which. Now, this one does not really deserve attention. That's some kind of uh, drill bit for an impact type of masonry drill, I think. So I'm, I don't really want to talk about that. This is actually way too easy and most of you will know what this is and there are parts missing. This is just one half of what you would need in order to use this. What is it? I know it's an easy one. That's about three quarters of an inch. Well, more than that, maybe about seven eighths. Thanks, Don. This is item four, and I purchased this recently at an auction, and it's among my vein accumulations now. And I may have told you what it was if you had watched that video, so some of you will know what it is. But I had never seen one before. It is a rather obscure item. Have a look. Now, I covered up the trademark here, although I'm not sure that would give it away anyway. We got a plate here with a lot of holes in it and a, and a sector. And this is a gearbox, 40 to 1 ratio. So when you turn the crank, pull the plunger out and turn the crank, this part will turn slowly, 40 to 1, as I just said. Kind of a heavy unit. 
mainly cast iron. You can see that it's a worm and a, and a worm gear. Or you actually you can't see it, but that's what's inside there. Just a, a gearbox. And this device here expands. Let me know if you've ever seen one or can identify it. Please read through the comments several times. Come back and look uh, every few days because you'll find some very interesting comments. Please nice clean ones, otherwise I have to delete them. Now up to the computer. Now I'm at the computer and this is a hammer that my friend from Metamora, Illinois, Dale Greenhall, uh, sent me the pictures and he said I could go down there and actually film it, but this belongs to a friend of his also in Illinois. But it originally came from Missouri and no one has been able to identify what kind of hammer this is or what it's for. What, what's the purpose of this? I know that's not showing up too well. Looks very old. There are five pictures in all, and this particular label on here says, what is it? So that's, it's, and that's well worn, so people have been trying to figure that out for many years. And thanks to Dale for sending me these pictures. And there's one more. Okay, that concludes this issue of What Is It, number 55A. Be sure and watch for 55B when available. This is Mr. Pete saying so long for now.